Well, this week, our Friday freebie, as we said, all month yes. long, we're giving away books for good reason. Yeah. It's National Reading Month. Absolutely. And today, we're going to be talking to the author of Cemetery Road, which is one of the books our Lucky Friday freebie winner will be grabbing this week. Greg Isles, welcome to Good Day Live. We're so glad to have you. I'm glad to be here with y'all. Well, Greg, when v uh, readers flip through the pages of your book, what exactly are they going to find? Well, if you strip away, I write crime novels, but if you strip away the crime from this book, what you get to is a story about two men in love with the same women. A woman, excuse me. Uh, one of the men left home when he was 18, went off to Washington, D.C., and became very successful. The other stayed home and married the woman they loved. They have a complex relationship. The two men were in Afghanistan together, one as a journalist, one as a soldier. And when the one who left has to return home to take care of a dying parent, you have both men and the woman they love in the same town. And uh, that's a recipe for trouble, I would say. <laughs> Sounds like a recipe for a good book. <laughs> Yeah, I think anytime, anytime you throw that love triangle into yep. any story, there's always going to be some conflict. But you know what I, what I find interesting is you've also sort of captured the interest, I feel like, right now when it comes to D.C. as well. And, you know, there are stories that tend to flow out from our nation's capital. And it sounds like this book is somehow connected to what could be some controversy when it comes to that realm. Well, it is, and it, it's ironic. You know, my main character is sort of a cross between Woodward and Bernstein, and I would say a John Meacham-type character from MSNBC. And uh, he investigates, he's an investigative journalist in D.C., and it's ironic that when he's forced to return to his tiny hometown, he actually uncovers corruption there that's worse than what he left in D.C., but stretches all the way back to Washington. And people may think that's unlikely, but you, you don't have to go back far. Mississippi, we had very powerful politicians in D.C. because we always sent the same guys back for 30, 40 years. So this is a very realistic novel in that sense. Well, what's your process like when writing a book like this? I mean, did you have a love triangle or something like that? <laughs> <laughs> of course, of course. <laughs> you know, I say... Uh, all writers are writing about themselves, and if they tell you they're not, they're either lying or they're lying and they don't know they're lying. It's one of those two things. You can't, you can't make things up out of whole cloth and move people. You know, I wish you could, but all writers are going through life processing the things, the suffering they've been through, the insight they've had, or those of their friends and lovers and people that they know. That, that's, that's what writers do. Well, it's, it's a book that's going to capture yeah. a lot of folks' attention, and congratulations to you. I know you're already a number one New York Times best-selling author, but I have a feeling this one's going to catapult you even more because it's pretty juicy. Yeah. So uh, where, where can people get your book if they want uh, more information about you as an author or details? Well, you can go to gregisles.com, but I'm going to be close to you guys in Franklin, Indiana within the next uh, week, I think. So just uh, keep your eyes open, but you can get the book anywhere and everywhere.